a nigga that understand how we built the pyramids, yeah. That's another shit that cracked me up. White people say they don't believe in aliens till you ask them who built the pyramids. Aliens. <laughs> then ask them any other time. There's no such thing as aliens, crazy nigger. <laughs> they just don't want to believe a black man designed something that they can't fuck with to this day. You understand me? Motherfucker, you know how we built the pyramids? You ever play in the sandbox? You gotta ask a simple question. Just always flip the script. What if up is down and down is up? What if you look down into space standing up on earth? This is how we built the pyramids. You play in the sandbox. It's easy to move a mountain of sand into position. Once you wet sand, it holds its form like concrete. You put the first brick at the apex of this motherfucker. All right? You move sand out of this corner and that corner and place bricks there on both sides all the way to the top. Now you let the sand dry out and drop that brick right through that bitch. Sand under pressure when it's dry moves like fluid. That's why you always find viaducts in all of the motherfucking pyramids so the sand can shoot the fuck out the bitch. Now you have a hollow chasm. <laughs> and it's built into the ground in the same specs. It's not really a pyramid, it's a diamond. It is now topped off by quartz, and at the bottom is topped off by quartz. When moonlight comes through, it refracts off of the quartz in the bottom, the first refracting laser, <laughs> illuminating the night sky, which is why they called Pharaoh God, because he could turn night into day. Thus the all-seeing eye on your dollar bill above the pyramid. Because the only part of the human body made out of quartz is a human eye. When it dries out, it's small granules of quartz. That's why light transfers through it. Holla at your boy. Yeah.